Hello, I'm Luz Capaldi, and this is Nine Fun Facts for 99 Scenes. Uh, my first gig as Luz Capaldi, my first proper gig would probably be in Edinburgh. Uh, I played uh, when I was 11 years old at a, at a venue called the GRV, which is now called the Mash House. And uh, and yeah, I was first on as like this whole. It was a, it was like an all-day festival thing, and uh, and yeah, I was I was fucking terrible. The first CD I ever bought was a Bob Dylan compilation CD, uh, and it was uh, it was it was just called Dylan, and it had like a red background with black writing, and it just said Dylan across the front, and it was just kind of like a greatest hits thing. And uh, yeah, I didn't know who Bob Dylan was. I was just being like a little prick, and I was like, oh, i will be really cool if I buy a Bob Dylan CD, even though I had no idea who he was. So, uh, so yeah, I was acting like a, I was being a little bit of a wanker. But I like Bob Dylan now because of it, so it worked out in the end. The hardest song I had to write on this album was probably Don't Get Me Wrong, which is on the album. It's like a 6 8 thing, it's a bit different from the rest of the, the songs on the album. And it, it was just really hard because I was in a session with a guy called Jamie Hartman and we were writing it, but it took us ages to get to it because. Um, yeah, because it was fucking, we were listening to other songs and we were like, basically we just couldn't, we, could, we couldn't land on a song that was like, land on an idea that was any good. So we just kept on going back and forth and back and forth and, until we eventually landed on this thing. But it wasn't hard to write in terms of like, the, the, con, the subject matter because it's just, it just a heartbreak song. Oh, the best and worst thing about my mum is that she she's lovely. She washes my underwear when I go home. She yeah she does all my laundry when I go home, which is nice, and I, and I love her for it. The worst thing about my mom, she asks me the same questions over and over again every single day, and it's like the same shit. Oh, oh, and I tell her things, and she doesn't remember me. She's not that old. She's like fifty something, and she doesn't remember me telling her things. And I just th think to myself, if you ever get to a point in your life when you have like an illness where you can't remember things, I'm gonna be the worst son ever because I just, I go fucking, I snap at her and I, she'll ask me, oh, so when do, when do you next go on tour? Even though I've already told her the day before and I'll lose my shit. Uh, so yeah, that's the worst thing about my mum is that she's got a very bad memory. My favorite drink is a drink called Buck Fast. I'm assuming you mean alcoholic, maybe I'm, it's just because I am an alcoholic. But um, yeah, as a drink called Buckfast, it's a drink in Scotland that you, you kind of start drinking when you're, not when you're underage, but you start drinking it in, like, in parks, and it's like, the bottle's about this big, but it's a wine, but it's quite thick. It's got the same consistency as like port, uh, and it's lovely. It just, it's got lots of caffeine in it. It's a white, it's basically wine with loads of caffeine in it. And it's like, it's fucking rocket fuel. It's amazing. The best thing about Niall Horan, he smells very good. No, do you know what the best thing about Niall Horan is? The fact that girls will now talk to me because I, I know Niall Horan. That's the best thing about Niall Horan, is that girls are like, oh, do you know Niall Horan? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I do. So that's the best thing about Niall Horan. Thank you very much, Niall, for that. The biggest celebrity crush. It's a good one. Michelle Obama. I love her. Mer. Is it Mer? Mer. Mer de. Yeah. That shit, yeah? Yeah. Um, lo lots of money. I'd like to make lots of money. So wish that for me, guys, thank you. I'd also like to still be alive this time next year. All I wish that I don't die and that I make lots of money. Fingers crossed.